Right, my lovers, and welcome to part four of my guide to gods in the game of Smite. I promised that this episode we would look at guardians. My apologies, it's been a week since my last god guide, but I have to be honest, Witcher 3 took over my life. Um, so I'm back. I am now uh, introducing Bacchus, the god of wine. Is a guardian class, so it's not one we've covered before. It's not a class we've covered before. So let's dive in and have a look at the skills. If you like what you see, please, please, please leave a comment or subscribe or a click a like. I'm uh, getting very little feedback on the moment as to whether these guides are useful. So if you find them useful, please let me know. If you have any desires for any other guides you'd like to see for gods or any other guides around the game of Smite, particularly new players on the Xbox, if there's anything you don't understand, drop me a line, leave a comment, let me know. I'll be happy to oblige. Anyway, let's get on and look at Bacchus and his skills. So, Bacchus, let's take a look at the God of Wine. Uh, that's a very timely burp there. Thank you very much, Bacchus. Um, Bacchus is a guardian, which means he's effectively a tank. Uh, and in essence, he is a support class designed to disrupt the ranks of your opposition. Cause problems. Um, <clears throat> guardians generally can take uh, quite a significant amount of damage from the opposition, depending on how, it, how, the, character, uh, how the player builds the guardian. Um, Bacchus is a melee magical, uh, and you can get some uh, tanks, bizarrely like Hades, which are uh, ranged, uh, ranged magical. Um, and Bacchus is great because he has a beard and because he drinks. Um, no, he's not based on me, uh, but he is a really, really fun character to play. I mean, particularly in arena where you can just cause absolute mayhem amongst the ranks of your opposition. Uh, very, very difficult early on in the game uh, with mana. Mana is a real problem I find, particularly in Conquest. I find him incredibly difficult to sustain leveling. Um, it's, it's, you know, I, 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 I mean, if you're playing a character like a, a mage or an assassin or a hunter, you can plow through the um, minions rank up quite quickly so that's easy with Bacchus it's very difficult early on depending on how you um, stack the abilities he, he's very difficult to get leveled up quickly uh, and as a result he can actually be um, to the detriment of the overall game because he can actually end up being too far behind in levels to actually be effective in arena however I find him so much fun to play so let's take a look at the abilities for Bacchus so the passive as ever at first Bacchus loves to drink. Ah, I mean, don't we all? We all love a, we all love a little, little bit of a tipple now and again, don't we? Some more than others. Uh, and, I, and, and remember, kids, drinking's not cool and not clever. Um, Bacchus's drunko meter is effectively a little meter that you'll see uh, along on the hood. And uh, every time you chug some wine, and remember, you should always sip wine and savor it, not chug it. But Bacchus, being the alky that he is, chugs his wine. Every time you chug some wine, uh, you go, uh, you, your drunko meter gets leveled up. That was the dog coughing. Um, <laughs> thank you, Jarvis. Uh, so when you take a drink, uh, you level up. When you get tipsy, you take 7% less damage and you gain 10 magical power. When you get smashed, which is when you're absolutely annihilated and drunk, um, you take 14% less damage and gain 30 magical power. So this is one of those rare times, I think the dog's throwing up, this is one of those rare times when um, it's actually of benefit to be drunk. So that coincides with uh, Bacchus's chug ability. So when you chug, you use this active. That then uh, pushes up his drunko meter. So uh, to start off with, chug is a very, very difficult skill to take early on in the game. Generally, I would advise taking belly flop and belch to start with and then picking up chug further down the line. Um, Chug is what gives you that um, passive. So you drink, you you get to tipsy, you get to smashed, and you take less damage and you gain the magical power. But it burns through an awful lot of mana, and to sustain a level of tipsy and drunk very early on, very early on in the game is difficult. Uh, when you do chug, uh, you will add thirty three percent, thirty five percent, thirty seven percent, thirty nine percent, and forty one percent to your chug meter. So obviously, when you get to level five, two chugs, and you're into the area where uh, I think it's more than eighty percent, you're smashed, and therefore you're not using as much mana. Uh, the protections that the chug will give you uh, scale again with the levels to thirty five. Uh, I think that's physical and magical. Let's have a look. 
Um, he also gets 10% when he kills an enemy god, I've just read, which I, I actually didn't know. That's embarrassing. Um, but there you go. So the chug is what gives him that uh, drunko meter and also gives him uh, the ability to get smashed. Belly flop is great. It's like a ranged leap, if you like. Uh, Bacchus jumps into the air. Not so gracefully. Comes slamming down into the ground belly first. It's great. Makes a boing noise. Um, knocking all enemies into the air and dealing damage. If he's tipsy, so again, if you've invested some time in getting drunk, always, you know, always good, um, then enemies are slowed after they land. So you knock them in the air, which is just like a, a, a very, very short route, because they're in the air for maybe a second, and then they're slowed by 20% for two seconds. Um, very, very good. The damage it does, plus 70% of your magical power on top of the uh, the base damage, which at level 5 is 250. So you can do a fair amount of damage using that. Um, cooldown is 16 seconds. It's slightly long, but obviously you can invest in items to, to bring that down a bit. So the belly flop is really, if you hang around as a guardian and you see a big group of the opposition all clumped together in arena, get your belly flop and just dive into the middle of them, cause mayhem. It sends them scattering in all different directions. Um, brings us on to Belch of the God. Bacchus lets out an obnoxiously loud belch, doing damage every half a second for two seconds. If he's tipsy, enemies are stunned for a second, so he belches and they're stunned as well, and their healing is debuffed for eight seconds, I think the debuff is. Oh no, uh, three seconds. Okay, so the debuff is three seconds. If you imagine you stack that with Divine Ruin, then that gives you eight seconds uh, healing debuff. So, um, when you're burping, damage per tick is 80 plus 15% of your magical power. You can see it's not a significant amount of damage. More pointedly is the ability to get in, disrupt the ranks of your opposition, go in, belly flop, give them a birch. Uh, a birch? Where did that come from? Um, a, a belch or a burp. And, um, a, you know, it's, it's, it's a great way to disrupt, disrupt the opposition. Uh, debuff them, slow them, stun them. You get onto your ultimate ability for Bacchus. Bacchus smashes his jug of wine on the ground, intoxicating all nearby enemies and doing damage. If he is smashed, which at the point in the game that you're using Intoxicate, you probably would try and be smashed all the time. I know I do. Um, if he is smashed, Bacchus also gains a magical power buff because of his anger over his lost wine. I mean, let's be honest, we all, if we spill a drink, we're not happy, are we? So it's a radius of 30, not huge, but uh, the damage it does is 550 plus uh, level 5 plus 70% of your magical power. Intoxication debuff duration is 8 seconds, and you get a buff of 60 at level 5, and the buff duration is 5 seconds. Now what's really good about this is um, you are debuffing the opposition. Uh, let's have a look. Um, intoxication debuff. Eight seconds. So the intoxication debuff is um, right. I'm confused. I think it's not saying here, but I think it reduces their magical protections. Let's just read that again. Back and smashes a jug of wine on the ground, intoxicating all nearby enemies. Thank you for the. Thank you for that. Thank you for that, mate. Uh, and doing damage. If he's smashed, back is going down. Okay, so intoxicating all nearby enemies. Intoxication debuff duration is 8 seconds. And your magical power buff duration is 5 seconds. It doesn't actually say there what the debuff is. I think, and I will, I will add in uh, following this, I think it's actually a, a magical protections debuff when they're intoxicated. So generally, what, the way I play um, Bacchus is I will jump in jump into a group, if I've got intoxication I will belly flop, throw them in the air and, and then slow them then I will throw in an intoxicate generally if they're all running away then throw in a belch of the gods if they have that magical protection debuff um, then you can you can probably get a couple of kills which is quite rare as a guardian um, so I follow it up latterly with, with belch of the gods so I'm, I'm going to check on that intoxicate because I'm pretty sure intoxicating all nearby enemies and doing damage. Now I think the intoxication debuff is uh, magical protections, but I will check that um, and I'll annotate this video when I'm editing it because it doesn't actually say there at all. So anyway, in essence, in summary for Bacchus, 
you want to try and get in, and certainly in most games, I would advise picking up Belly Flop and Belch of the Gods first and playing very cautiously, getting minion kills, getting enemy kills when you can, enemy god kills when you can, then latterly pick up Chug, start to invest points in that. You should, in a, as early on in the game as you can, pick up Chug after you've got Belly Flop and Belch of the Gods and start to get your Drunko meter up to tipsy at least if, if you can't get it to smashed without really burning through your mana. You'll find very early on in the game um, if you do pick up chug early on a couple of chugs and your mana bar is gone and you then have to teleport back and, and, and re regenerate even using pots ma uh, mana potions just doesn't even scratch the surface so um, you can uh, get you I would say at least get your drunk drunko meter to tipsy um, chug invest points in that after belly flop and belts of the guards get intoxicate obviously as early as you can level five I think that is um, and then just play this circulation of when belly flop and belch of the gods is up, belly flop in, do belch of the gods, and then remove yourself. And then let, let your teammates pick off what they can. Uh, when you get to the point that you're smashed and you have intoxicate, belly flop in, then throw down an intoxicate, get that debuff, uh, and then throw in belch of the gods. Now, more often than not, if you can time this right and you're in arena and there's a big group of uh, opposition running around you can actually get that debuff in get a few kills if you're playing with a mage as well then then the debuff means that they can run in and um, and get a couple of kills as well so all in all Bacchus is one of my favorite guardians to play simply because he's in he drinks and we all love it you know we all love a tipple as I said now and again but also because he he gives you an enormous sense of satisfaction whilst he's not a big killing machine he can absolutely um, destroy the ranks of the opposition and send them scattering so um, definitely a guardian to bear in mind and you know all I can say is his recall animation is is just worth seeing it's worth playing just for that recall animation alone okay everyone that's it for this guide thank you very very much for watching if you stuck through to this point as ever if you like what you see and you want to see more give me a like click subscribe I'm gonna be churning out videos at quite a high rate at the moment any other